What's going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you about the top five highest short interest stocks, aka squeeze stocks, in the market today, EV edition. So I kind of thought that this might be an interesting video. I do bring up short interest quite a lot in my videos. And so yeah, definitely uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Kicking it off right in, uh, or I guess with stock number five, this is only NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange, just on FYI. But starting off with stock number five, surprisingly, it is Rivian. Over the last one year, it is down 36.56%. 2024, down 62.87%. But right now, 19.36% of the free float is being shorted. Utilization is 64.53. Short score is 72.63. So the higher the number, the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening. And then cost of borrow average is 1.27%. And then as a grand total of that 133.66 million shares being shorted, that works out to be $1.11 billion worth. So very significant stuff. And just to put it in perspective, as you can kind of see, shorts have really started to double down. So it is currently sitting at all-time high short interest numbers. So let me know your thoughts on that. Moving on to stock number four, that is right here. So Nikola, I've never really covered that under this channel or in general, but ticker is NKLA over this last one year, down 26.82%. And in 2024, it is down 2397 Based off of this, short interest is 19.42%. 241.66 million shares overall are being shorted. Obviously, I'm not really bringing this aspect up, but this is what happened on Tuesday. So essentially, shorts did increase 4.37 million shares, but still moving on. Utilization is 83.7%. Short score is 80.61. And then cost of borrow average is 25.97. $155.1 million worth of shorts out there. Moving on to good old stock number three, and that is Go EV Canoe. So definitely had a very good Tuesday, up 18.15%. Over this last one year, it is down 82.94%, though, and in 2024, down 50.47%. Based off of this, 21.02% of the free float is being shorted, so very high stuff. That does work out to be 12.28 million shares overall are being shorted. Utilization is at 100%. Short score is 83.27. And then cost of borrow average is 365.48%. Very high stuff. And then as far as the overall dollar value, roughly about $31 million in shorts um, in canoe. So let me know your thoughts on that. Moving on to good old stock number two. That is a Faraday Future. I do cover this one under my other channel, Trending Stocks. Definitely not a lot of good things happening uh, operationally. A lot of the other stuff or the other stocks, um, obviously you guys do your own due diligence on and everything. But over this last one year, down 99.89%. So I think that's a very clear indication. Things have not been going all that well. In 2024, it is down 90.49%. But despite that though, 28.4% of the free flow is being shorted. And that works out to be 10.82 million shares overall are being shorted. Utilization is 96.68%. Short score 75.47%. As a grand total, there's about $780,000 worth of shorts. So, of course, you can kind of tell just the float is relatively low for this. But cost of borrow average, or I guess, sorry, going back to here, uh, just the market cap is very low, not the float. But cost of borrow average is 18.33%. But moving on from here, stock number one, so the most heavily shorted stock out there based off of the short interest percentage is good old Lucid Group. Over this last one year, down 69.81% year to date, so 2024, down 42.99%. As it stands, 31.83% of the free float is being shorted. That works out to be 281.9 million shares overall are being shorted. Utilization is 100%, short score 93.15. Cost of borrow average is 41.85%. And roughly $683 million worth of shorts is out there. So let me know your thoughts on the top five squeeze stocks or I guess EV edition, which of them do you currently own? And why do you think that, for instance, in Lucid's case, they are doubling down to kind of this more of a 
degree than Nikola, for instance, and Faraday. So why do you think that this is happening? I did review a lot of these. So as you can kind of see, this is the top EV stocks based off of market cap. So um, obviously there's Tesla and many others, but I did go through everything and obviously it did result in the top five. So maybe I can make this like a weekly occurrence or bi-weekly occurrence, and that way you guys can see if there is any changes. Neo barely missed it, uh, so I think there is roughly about 14, 15%, and then Polestar is like 10%, and many others out there. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. One final thing, make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you seven fractional shares, equivalent about $35 total value pretty good return on investment for just throwing $100 at a new account take advantage of this link in the description below and also comments with all that said appreciate all of you watching